left the ice. Everyone ran outside and we listened to the wagon wheels turning and crunching in the icy Misha Sopakini snow. The sound echoed through the swamp and we were afraid. We ran inside our lean tos and hid. Blue coated soldiers on horses drove the wagons into the center of the clearing. Nobody moved for a long time. Moving the cedar branches, we saw the soldiers unloading stacks of blankets. We were so cold. All we had to wear was what we had gone to bed with the night our houses burned. The soldiers had blankets and they were passing them out. There were blankets for old people, blankets for the babies, blankets for everybody. When I tried to run and get my blanket, my mother pulled me back inside. We don't need their blankets, she said, stroking my hair. We don't need their blankets. When my big brother tried to run to the wagon, she pulled him back too. We don't need their blankets, my mother said. Years later, I would ask myself, how could she know that before these blankets were passed out, they were deliberately infected with smallpox. The people began to die. Those of us still living made our way through the swamp to a road on the other side. We found hundreds of people walking, 